to our channel design major mechanical today we will see a component and in that component we will run mold flow analysis in nx12 as you can see so first of all this is the component details the component is of 130 by 100 mm into 40 mm having a draft of 3 degree and the component thickness is 1 mm and uh, for that case what i will do i will go to the mold widget as you can see initialize project uh, first of all setting the saving path say somewhere here naming as component i have to put a material let's set abs the shrinkage will automatically be added and after that click on this ok button just wait for few few seconds it will take some time to continue okay now the next thing is that is option of mold design validation okay just switch on this and close it now go to the option of check region check region select this product body and specify the draw direction the draw direction already is in the upward side so it's okay i have nothing to do with it I will just click on this calculate button just it will calculate whether which part will be your core part or which part will be your cavity part of the component go to the face and click on this particular option the top portion as you can see is the cavity part and the bottom portion is the core part as you can see make sure go to the region also here you will better understand this is the core region this color and uh, this color is the cavity region and you see there is no undefined face as zero and hitting this ok button now the next thing i have to do i have to use the run flow analysis so click on this run flow analysis it will ask you to select the body so let me select this body first just hold on a second there is a problem now if i go to for flow analysis what you do you go to the run flow analysis you select this particular body the body has already been selected now you need to specify the gate point for that case what you do you just select on the sketch specify a vector and specify a point so for point i am taking right now this origin point over here okay and just I am making a point over here uh, okay finish and now you see the gate has already been automatically been chosen now what you do if you click on this ok button so what will happen it will start the software will start for the flow analysis and it will open an another software which is moldex analysis setting as you can see right now these are the data you need to uh, provide the data description is given over here along with the formula as you can see filling time uh, mold temperature mold temperature injection pressure this and that so everything is given i will give you this uh, pdf link in the description area from there you can download so what i do what i will do i will just click on this option analyze now so it will take some time to analyze let the analysis complete then i will get back to you in the video okay, now you can see the now you can see the injection analysis has been completed and i'm hitting this ok button now if i click on this particular option it will ask you to this option is the display flow analysis result so here I can see all the uh, data as you can see first of all the filling see it is filling in the proper way now if I go for gate contribution your gate contribution is properly okay now pressure drop here as you can see the pressure is quite high and at the bottom it is low sorry at the gate point it is low melt point you will get this maximum temperature you will get this average temperature okay overall this area is uh, quite being heated so i have to co use cooling in insert over here 
uh, if you click on this air trap also your air trap will also be shown to you here i have to provide the hair bands one more side yes on that side only i have to provide the air vents over here because air may trap over here and cooling as you can see the cooling also can be analyzed so this is the way you have to use it for the mode flow analysis so that's all from my side okay so this is a very short video as i would explain a mode flow analysis in nx with a simple component thank you if you found this video helpful then like it then after all you subscribe my channel and share it with your friend thank you